Hi guys, welcome to the Indian Express. I am Sampada Sharma. And I am Rohan Nagar. And today we are going to be discussing the recently concluded HBO series, The Last of Us. Uh, Rohan, we just saw the last episode recently, and ये बड़ा last minute thing है क्योंकि अगर अभी तक आपने नहीं देखा है तो आप थोड़ी कोशिश देख लो क्योंकि उसके बाद it will not be on Hotstar anymore. So just like there are a few days left in case you have not seen the show yet, please watch it. And in any case, if you've not seen the show yet, this chat is going to be full of spoilers, so just be aware. So Rohan, what did you think of the show? Great show, right? Because uh, we went in expecting like uh, if you played the games, you know, it's a certain kind of game, it's a survival action. oriented game but this turned out to be so much more it's like a moving drama about a father and a daughter almost right which i don't think many people were expecting okay so uh, honestly uh, as soon as i learned ki ye game thing hai ek to ye gamer bro thing se aaye run in the other direction kyunki mujhe bada aise toxic pipe lagta hai ye sab but i was very surprised when i watched the first episode and this entire zombie apocalypse thing and a uh, father daughter story and eventually it felt like a story about love i was so invested i almost cried in every episode i was totally into it and they keep coming back to this template right because over the years we've seen so many versions of this story this middle aged person who's so over everything learns to reconnect with this humanity when they are kind of told to protect a, a child who's more innocent you know more optimistic uh, and we've seen versions of this play out so many times we've seen children of men we've seen uh, lone wolf and cub we've seen logan recently uh, and even in india we've seen bajrang ki bhaijaan Okay, it's really funny that you're comparing it. It was Last of Us to a Salman Khan movie, but I get theoretically what you're trying to say that it's a father-daughter like story, and he's trying to protect her. But the key difference between the two, me and Sevi, I think, because for Jungle Bhai Jaan, me Salman is everywhere trying to save Munni, but it's me. He lets Ellie be, and Ellie learns to fend for herself. And I think that's a nice twist on the old trope. Yeah, and it's nice way to update it also because I don't think something like this would fly today. When you have something of this pedigree and and you have a hero who's basically rampaging through all uh, villains and protecting like this fantasy that you that you're projecting on screen that won't fly. Right? Like you need the you need both characters to pull their weight, which I think is what makes this so different and special. In this, Ellie is the one who comes to. uh Joel's rescue often in two episodes he's just lying on the ground right and he's just sleeping sleep i'm sorry he's he's unconscious but you know pedro pascal's making the money ha but speaking of pedro pascal you know he's done the mandalorian before which is very similar to this like in that he he's he's basically like a religious zealot who's told to protect this little child and to the course of the first season he kind of becomes a more loving person and they have a very similar scene the one in the last of us where he's like i got you baby girl they have a very similar scene in the mandalorian it's funny that he's doing two versions of the same trope but doesn't he wear a helmet all the time on mandalorian yeah but everybody knows better yeah yeah everybody knows so it's very strange that the same actor has chosen two parts itna as pass and while both shows are still on i'm currently yeah and he's playing both these roles yeah which is What? goes to show how appealing this narrative style is to just generally audiences around the world like be in india or anywhere or fantasy galaxy far far away but just there's something about it that's appealing to people mm. right what did you not like about it because honestly for me i thought about it and i did not like that eventually there were no zombies on the show but as we have spoken about this earlier guys we talk off camera also but as we spoke about this earlier i get your point that humans are the bigger villains yeah. and which is why zombies were not relevant anymore but i kind of missed the zombies eventually because there was no zombie I mean, threat the, which was so big in the first 3 or 4 episodes exactly but after a point towards the end of the season you're like i you almost forget that there's a zombie apocalypse happening because you're like ravagers cannibals who's going to be around the corner now and that is the main thread that's the point the show is also trying to make so I'm, I understand what they were doing with that. But Coming what, back to what did you not like? What it? I didn't like about it was that it looked a little bit like a TV show. Uh, it felt a little mechanical in its storytelling, which is fine. But then I expect kind of more ambitious uh, things from an HBO show. What do you mean by ambitious? Uh, I don't want it to follow certain beats, certain mechanical. Um, this happens and that happens and that happens and you can kind of tell where the story is going because you've seen you can almost see the machinery turning 
बिहाइंड द सीन बिकॉज एवरी एपिसोड इज स्ट्रक्चर इन अ वे दैट एक्स मिनट पे ये होगा वाई मिनट पे ये होगा उसके बाद ये होगा विच इज वाई आई थिंक प्रॉब्लली आई वॉज क्राइंग एट ऑलमोस्ट द सेम प्लेस इन एवरी एपिसोड इट्स अ वेरी ओल्ड फैशन टेलीविजन राइटिंग काइंड ऑफ थिंग यू हैव लाइक वो अब टेन मिनट्स के बाद यू नीड दैट टू हैपन Uh, right which is why the third episode felt so unique and the show is never able to live up to that level um the third episode is the one which is a self contained love story right which is kind of some symbolizes what the show is about um because it's the last of us and it's the last of them they are the show <laughs> yeah so uh, it hurts the show also in a way because it peaks in episode 3 uh but then it's also the show can't do without that episode right it's one of the best episodes of tv that we've seen i would say since the la- since the leftovers which mm. i really like mm. and which had a lot of the similar things going on mm. um again an hbo show mm. but yeah all in all it's a really really nice show but you have like 7 days to watch it yeah so as so uh, i have one big question for you what would you do is a good question because and i'm asking this in context of uh, the last episode If you had the choice to save Ellie and just kill everybody, or the doctors and the scientists and whosoever is trying to find a cure, would you save her or would you let humanity survive? Hmm. If that is going to happen, that is. That makes sense because the game, in a way, is is asking you to make these complicated moral choices, right? When it's telling you to kill people to survive, and in a game, the the reaction is more visceral and it's more like involving because you're taking control of those. decisions you are being told to kill someone and it's up to you whether you want to or you not or you don't right here you're watching someone else do those things but you're meant to kind of empathize with them and put yourself in their position and here i think it's very clear that the show wants you to feel for joel mm-hmm. it wants you to be on his side as he's killing everybody to save ellie because it wants you to feel that ellie needs to be protected and also uh, he has that scene no that you were the one who saved uh, it wasn't time that healed me that moment was so nice and it's so obvious that they want to have a life after that because she says that once all of this is done i'll follow you wherever you go so of course they're going to have a life is what they are assuming so you are on your side i of mean course, and you you will never expect him to sacrifice his own daughter for anything right which we saw in the new shamla movie also mm. like will you sacrifice your own family to save humanity mm. and in that obviously they find a way around it but the child survives the child's not going to die so we should not allow that <laughs> okay so all in all you just have a few days to watch the last of us so watch it as fast as you can because uske baad uh, we can't recommend the ways that you can watch it after that but <laughs> thanks so much uh, for tuning in we'll see you next week if you have any suggestions for us uh, please leave them in the comments below let us know what movies or shows we can discuss next week and we'll see you then bye bye